Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. This is Fumi B here again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I made this gorgeous beaded beret with you all. I got a request a couple of months ago, I believe it was late last year from someone asking me to share how to make a beret, a beaded beret with you all on here. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering that video request by sharing how I made this gorgeous, gorgeous beaded beret with you all. So if you'll be interested in knowing all about this, first of all, make sure you watch this video to the end. Do not skip any part so you don't come back asking questions that have already been answered. Please remember to also subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please join this community on here on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button. And remember to tap the bell notification right beside the subscribe button so it helps you know every single time I share a new tutorial. Also, please do well to give me a big fat thumbs up, okay? If you enjoy watching, if you learned something, if you'll be trying this particular style of beret, please give me a big fat thumbs up. If you know someone that's going to enjoy this video as well, please share with them and just engage 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 if for any reason you have questions inquiries about anything that i shared in this video please feel free to drop any of those questions in the comment section if you have feedback if you like the beret let me know as well by dropping me a comment in the comment section all right guys without wasting any more time let's get straight into the meat and the potatoes of today's video let's go Hello friends, without wasting any time, we'll get straight into the beading process. This is my beret, okay? I don't know if the beret in beret, if the T in beret is silent, but I call it beret. That's what it's called out here in Nigeria. This is what it looks like and this is the top clearly and this is where you're going to wear on your head. So the portion of this beret that we're going to be beading on is this top portion. If you want, you can bead up to this extent, but I don't think I want to. I just want to put some drama on here and that's what we're going to be working on for the sake of this video we are going to be working with our cloth stones these we're going to be working with our regular black beads these are black seed beads let me see if i can increase the brightness of my lights so you guys see so these are the seed beads we'll be working with we'll also be working with some crystal beads this is a bunch of black crystal beads in size four i also have them in size six and i believe i'll be using that in this video yeah so for your own beret or cap Whatever you want to call it, feel free to do any beading combination that suits you. This is just what I believe would work for me and the design that I'm going for in this video. All right, so these are my crystal beads in size six, okay? All right, so first of all, what I'd like to do is to draw the patterns that I want to bead on on my cap. Feel free to draw any pattern you like. If you want to write your maybe initials, maybe for me now, if I wanted to do FO, I could just have written FO probably with cursive handwriting and then bid on it. But that's not necessarily what I'm going for. I just want to do some little, little bid work out here. And the reason the inspiration for this video came from one of us, she asked me to share a tutorial on beaded berets. So, yeah. Anyway, I already have something like this. I hope it's showing well on camera. So I just did a little scribble here and there. So I already went ahead to thread a bunch of beading needles. For this tutorial, I would not be doing too much talking because I find that with beading and stuff, it's better for you to look at what I'm doing and replicate it than for me to just be chatting, chatting, chatting. And I find that when I talk to, it wastes time, right? So I'm going to keep quiet now, allow you guys to see what I'm doing. I'll be moving my camera here and there, allowing you guys to see clearly. If you watch and you have questions for me, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. Um, if I'm doing something that requires explanation, I'm going to speak, but yeah, without talking too much, let's start working. All right, guys. So with beading, you're going to start from the bottom of your beret, obviously, and then you start to bead all over the top of the cap. For the sake of today's video, I went about just creating spiral beading pattern on specific parts of the beret. However, for your own, you can decide whether you want to bead all over the entire beret or you also want to do the way i am doing okay with the beading pattern you don't have to follow this same pattern that i drew on my cap you can even do like round circle like um, shapes all over the top of the beret and then bead along those lines what i'll suggest you do is to have your pattern drawn on the beret and then you bead on those patterns it will help you with just 
creating a very clean beadwork at the end of the day. I'm still going to see, okay, I'm going, I'm going to see if I can still come back with other variations on beading designs that you can do on your beret. If you guys would like to see that, if you'd like me to come back with another beading tutorial for beret, let me know down in the comment section and I'll work something out for you. At this point in the tutorial, I'm just trying to sew on some rose monties on this particular beret, okay? That's what I'm doing here. You can switch out the rose monties for your own bead. You can use crystal beads, you can use seed beads, sand beads, um, broken glass bead, any type of bead you like, honestly. You can even use pearls all over your beret, okay? It all depends on you and what you're going for. And if you don't want to use beads, you can use cross stones. I know you guys know Messi Chinwo. She wears a lot of berets and you can just look at some of the berets that she wears and try to replicate something like that, right? You can even like get appliques and just tack those appliques onto your beret and come up with something absolutely stunning. Like I always say, my tutorials on YouTube are supposed to just give you an idea of what you can do and then you can now go ahead to just create something absolutely beautiful from the idea that i give you on here on youtube this is me also trying to create another beading pattern on this line that i've drawn out on my beret i'm going to keep quiet now allow you guys see what i'm doing as usual if you have questions for me please feel free to drop it in the comment section and i'll be very very happy to attend to your question also if you know someone that would like this video please share this video thank you guys for 23,000 subscribers it means a lot to me thank you for all 23 thousand people that have chosen to be a part of this community on here on youtube it means a lot to me and yeah i'm going to keep right now i like you guys watch and then i'll come back to talk to us as we go along I know the color pair of on camera may not be the greatest because I'm beading with black beads on a black beret but I tried my best to increase the brightness so you guys can at least see the outline. So this is what's beading using the leaf beading pattern and the straight beading pattern on the beret looks like. I would have said I'm going to beat the entire cap but I have a lot of stuff to do. So what I'm going to go ahead to do just to kind of fast track everything is I already have these beaded leaf patterns right here. I believe I used it in the last um, beaded cap video that I shared with us on the channel. So the leftovers, I'm just going to paste them at strategic points on the beret, just to kind of just make everything look beautiful. So with the placements, you decide what you want. And if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to do all these placements, if you just want to beat the entire beret, I believe from the little you know kind of tutorial that i've shared with us we basically know how to go about it so you can just go about creating these overlapping beading pattern just create them like from this center point all the way down here all the way down here all the way down here just around or you can even just come up with your own vibe just around here okay feel free to go off depending on how much time and how much um drama you want to add to your beret so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go off camera paste these leaf patterns at strategic points on the beret using my hot glue okay so once that is done i'm going to come back to show us and then i'm going to try out the beret on myself so you guys get to see what it will look like if you go ahead to do something like this for yourself or for your client all right friends so this is me just applying glue onto these beaded leaves that i have and i'm just pasting it onto my beret like i said earlier feel free to tweak your own beading pattern don't feel pressured to do exactly what i'm doing but if you want to still do what i'm doing please feel free to just go off 
and replicate it on your own work. If you look at the picture that I have on my thumbnail, you see that that's a different beading pattern used on a beret as well. That picture does not belong to me. I'm going to tag the owner of the picture on the screen, okay? So feel free to do that if that's what you're all about. Bead all over the cap. Just know that it's going to take time and energy, okay? So prepare for it. And if you're making it for sale, charge your clients adequately if you've not seen my video on how to come up with pricing for your work for your pieces that you create in fashion you should totally check out that video i'm going to link it on the screen but just do the needful and if you're making it for yourself as well i mean there's no harm go off and create something absolutely beautiful for yourself this is me just placing cloth stones as well on strategic points on the beret okay you can also tack cloth stones and just make the beret very busy and beautiful but for me i went ahead to use flat bottom beads because i didn't want to waste my cloth stones because these cloth stones too they are not cheap i used flat bottom beads because they are cheaper and i didn't mind using it on my beret and this is the end result this is me just trying it on look how gorgeous this looks i also made this two-piece ankara dashiki and shorts for myself i didn't i didn't film because you guys don't show my sewing tutorials a lot of love and the lack of views on my sewing tutorial just makes me feel like you guys don't want to see me sharing sewing tutorials however if you'd like me to start adding it please let me know down in the comments i'm just here flaunting the look for you guys please remember to like this video subscribe to the channel if you're yet to and share this tutorial as well with someone that you think would enjoy watching this video thank you guys so much for watching this video it means a lot to me if you like this video please give me a big fat thumbs up share with a friend subscribe if you're not subscribed All right guys i can't wait to see you in another video very very soon toodles bye <laughs>